Okay, um, welcome to another Apple Motion 5 tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be <coughs> on a principle called um, sequence replication. Uh, it's not going to be as long as uh, my previous one because I just want to demonstrate one single principle and I'm going to make a, a simple demo of, of a line of trees growing. Right, first I'm going to go to my library and I'm going to select content and I'm going to search for tree. Now there's a piece of vector art called a winter tree. Now you notice in the uh, preview window there it's not showing anything. There's a bug in motion and for some reason on some types of artwork it won't show you a preview. Anyway we're going to take this winter tree and drag it onto the project. Okay. I'm going to make a line of these trees uh, and have them grow out of the ground so because there's going to be scaling involved I want the scaling to happen from a sensible point. Now for a tree a sensible anchor point would be the base of the tree where it's hits the ground. Okay. So now just to check that we see and we scale it, it will scale out of the ground. So now we're going to take this tree and we're going to create a replicator. Now it looks a bit like a mess at the beginning, but that's because the replicator controls the default is a rectangle. I want a line. Okay, so we do that and stretch out the line a little bit by changing its start points and end points. So we've got a line of trees there. Um, but as you can see the, the default behavior of a replicator is to do the entire replication in a single frame. I want this to happen over time and to have the tr uh, trees grow out of the ground. So. I'm going to go to behaviors and I'm going to add to my replicator a replicator behavior called sequence replicator. Uh, now that what that will allow me to do is to control the replication across time. So I'm going to I want to sequence the the scaling of uh, the cells i.e. the trees. So I'm going to add a scale parameter. I'm going to say scale from 0 Let's have a look at how that looks. Okay. So not quite how I want it. I, what, I, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the spread spread across three, which means three will be growing at, at once. That looks a bit nicer. Okay. To um just to make it look a little bit nicer, I'm going to go back to my winter tree. I'm going to add a bit of drop shadow to it. So the trees don't get so messed up with each other. Okay, so let's take a look at how it, um, see how it is at the moment. There we go. That's looking better, except um, I want the subsequent trees to grow behind. So we we'll go back to our replicator. Go to the controls of the replicator, and I want to put reverse stacking, which means that each tree will come out behind the last rather than in front of it. I don't like the fact that they are all the same size, which makes it seem a bit unnatural. So let's add a bit of randomness to it, and let's 
change the seed until we get one that we know. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. So let's see what it's like now. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, okay, to make it a little bit more interesting, let's um, let's colorize. Um, okay, let's so use over pattern. Let's yeah, let's change the color scheme. Uh, okay. Yeah, I quite like that. Let's add to the replicator a little bit of bloom. Okay, and let's change the threshold. Mount. Okay, so let's see what this is like. Um, okay, the last thing I would do is make it um, a little bit happen a bit quicker. Now, all I have to do to do that is change the length of the sequence replicator behavior. So if I make the, the whole project what, 10, 10 seconds long and I've made the sequence replication behavior last five seconds. So now it all happens much quicker. And then when it gets to the end, it just stays as it is. It is. Okay, so that's um, a quick tutorial on sequence replication. Um, so send me your examples and um, explore what you can do with that behavior.